Dream Team, it's your boy D Neil back with another reaction video, guys. Here we are with How's Those versus Authority Part Four. We are finally at the end, and it's been an absolutely incredible movie. Uh, before we dive in, though, make sure you subscribe, ring notification bell, give the video a thumbs up so it gets suggested. Let's finish this. Yeah! Also, I'm gonna be snacking during this video because I ain't ate and I'm starving. So, if that bothers you, I apologize. I'm just so hungry. Oh, it was a close call, that's for sure. Bloody outrageous! So, Shazza got her mum's ashes back. Oh, and how lucky is this? They got the camper back too, without the coppers even searching it. That's crazy. <laughs> what the fuck's with the gear, Frankie? What have you been up to, eh? What happened to you? You've been gone ages, mate. Listen, I've gone through some shit, and I do not want to talk about it, please. <laughs> Can't you lose, matey? I said don't ask. Great. You trying to start up the Anzacs again, eh? <laughs> Why are you wearing a seaweed salad on your head, mate? You got hair like this, eh? Yeah, yeah. Fucking fuck. Oh, bro, call a duty cord. They want all their shit back. They want their sheep back. New Zealand called, man. They want their sheep back. Angry. Just got off the phone to the Alice chapter. Stuff's arrived, mate. Well, thank fuck for that. Make a note. We don't use fucking houses again. What's the go with Frankie, mate? <laughs> I need to know what happened. What happened for real, for real? What the fuck's that baby's ass? Oh, he does. Come sit down here with me, bub. You know something, babe? Even after all this shit we went through, it all turned out okay. Mum will just have to come live with us now. You're so good, Chaz. I really love you. Even when you've been a bitch. <laughs> oh my days, dog. Oh my. Here we go. Here we go. And when they got back home, everything sort of went back to normal. Well, for a little while. God dang! Yeah! <laughs> there we, of course. <laughs> Department of Defense, of course that's what he's told. I know, they're around here somewhere. I can't hear the television! God, it was bloody better when you'd all pissed off! <laughs> National Monuments talks to us exclusively. Minister, good evening. Hello, John. I'm not this fucking cop face. Today you've announced a federal crackdown on people who disgrace national monuments. Would you care to elaborate? Oh, day. As we saw recently, there has been a wave of what I would call anti-Australian <gasps> behaviour in the community. Oh, day. Myself and the Prime Minister agree it has to be stopped. Shit, eh? Hey, Shazza, there's a million cops 
cops here on the street. Some stupid mongrels about to get Come on, the judge let him off, dog. You can't be charged with the same crime twice, right? Right? The judge let him off. You, you can't recharge him. What's going on? It's the government's response, Minister. I've decided to use new federal laws to re-arrest the maggots who showed total... That's crazy. ...to Uluru last week. Craziness. And I believe this is happening as we speak. Yes. These scumbums have to pay for their hideous crimes. Especially the graffiti. Shut up, shut up, shut up. I can hear cops. I can hear cops. Yeah, I'm not catching Frankie, man. I get a very good feeling things are about to get bad. I get the feeling things are about to get bad. Not catching Frankie, man. My thing is, y'all didn't even catch Frankie the first time. So how Frankie a part of it now when y'all, he was never arrested to begin with. Y'all never caught Frankie from the jump. So how y'all gonna catch Frankie now? Like, y'all knew he was a part of it. What a bad little machine. Oh yeah, my God, of course they stole it. it. You can be such a tool. Your ex-girlfriend Cherie dobbed you in. She saw you yeah. on the TV. Crime stoppers. Yep, I want to jump in. Frankie Falzoni. Yep, I saw some snitching. That's an Australian. An Australian to be a snitch. Come on now. Shit on TV. He's my ex de facto, and definitely he done it. Well, let that be a lesson to all of us. Pay your child support to your missus, no matter how many kids you got. I pay it to my <laughs> missus, and I haven't even got kids. <laughs> what? Senator. Prime Minister. Of course. Why is she looking at up, dog? Affair. Great work. Our approval rating is up five points today. Thank you. Hopefully we can discourage Bogans from defacing our great national monuments. Any popular policy mm. is a policy I fully support. Good she talked like Captain Kim. Now, having the coppers after you is one thing. But having the whole bloody federal government after you is a different thing altogether. You know you're up the creek without a paddle. Look, you're all shit in your pants for nothing, I swear. I've, like, fully organised all the legal shit. Yeah, well, why oh don't my you God. tell us what the big fucking plan is then? If I tell you, it's going to jinx the whole thing, all right? <laughs> so just, like, trust me. <laughs> we got a mad legal defence coming. <laughs> oh, my God. No a way. Do you realize how far I have to walk because you can't smoke in here? <laughs> no freaking die. Nah, no law? He no. Nah. It's a fucking mission, mate. <laughs> Frankie, you gotta be fucking kidding. This fucking tic tac better not be a lawyer. Oi, you wanna be a smart ass? I'll go home right now, you slut. Chillax, chillax, will you pause? Hey. Just trust me, all right? Trust me. What are you thinking, Frankie, with this tiny teddy? He's not even a lawyer. <laughs> He's small size. That means we're going to get mad sympathy. Them judges are all political correct. He's not going to go against the disabled. <laughs> what are you looking at? It's an acquittal for sure, mate. All right, all right. Let's begin proceedings. I should like to start. With... Oh, my oh, God. Uh... Well, no smoking. <laughs> And now you're gonna tell me I can't drink. <laughs> what else are you gonna fucking throw at me? You are not allowed to. Don't you fucking talk down to me, mate. I hold you in contempt. Do you know who I am? My <laughs> brother's a flaky. Well, I do. I already got it off my Oh my god, bro.
Would the accused take off his hat? Hey, I know the rules, mate. You CCTV can see my face, so I don't need to take my hat off. It's just like in a nightclub. I told you to take off your hat. <laughs> Look at Frankie now. Nah. <laughs> Good work using the ASIO CCTV. This is gold. <laughs> My God. Can you believe that people like this actually share the same air that we breathe? Oh my God. Excuse me, bro. Um, I'm feeling a little nervous. Um, <laughs> Ooh, right in Vanessa's face. Please no. Oh, I'll catch it. That sir is disgusting. Have him out. 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 God day. Well, that was a bit rude throwing me out like that. We let them go all the time in New Zealand courts. Do <laughs> <laughs> you reckon if I zip on this dwarf juice, I'm going to grow small? <laughs> <laughs> Now you all might find yourselves very amusing, but you are facing very serious federal charges. Illegal drug use, illegal sexual activity, and yeah. defacing a national monument. Matey, I'd like to sum myself in as lawyer, please. Refer to me as your honor. Refer to me as Dazzle with a big donger. <laughs> <laughs> it's what Dave Kelly would have done, and he's a national sacred object. <laughs> Refer to me as Dazzle with the big donga. <laughs> All right, enough is enough. Oh my it's God, dog, I'm about to lose it. Proper legal aid for you all. Oh fuck that! The last legal aid I used gave me a rash. That was a married away, you dickhead. What? Fucking chatty dildo. Duh. Oh. oh my god, dog. Look, take her out too. Oh, you fucking dirty dog! <coughs> dog! Oh. oh my god! Oh, Ooh. <laughs> oh, I wish I had Ned Kelly's helmet. Disgusting. Kevin, disgusting. And me, the same as Herb. To sub myself in as the lawyer for me on my own to talk. If you don't remove your hat, I shall have it removed by force. You could try, mate, but look, let's move on from that, mate. What am I here for? I'm in possession of my charges that I'm here to defend myself on. So let's just get to that bit where I get into the thing that's gonna like just get me off the hook and that. And... Oh, you sneaky creep! <laughs> <laughs> Bloody corker of an idea. Let's leak this footage to a current affair. When the public see these dirtbags in court, I'm sure we'll rack up a couple more approval points. <laughs> no, nope, they're gonna be mad at y'all for arresting them in the first place. Y'all gonna have to let them go. That is perfect. Look, I'll the true blue Aussies. Press secretary, right now. Hey, look, judge, mate. How about you let me have my say? My say. Then if I can't prove that I'm fully innocent, I'll take off whatever you want, mate. Hat, g-string, anything. Yeah. Here you go. You could use a hat, bro. Okay. <laughs> it's good. Right now, I'm just going to skip on to a story I need to tell you. And this is going to get us off completely. I'm warning you, I'm starting to lose my patience. Just hold on a minute, will ya? And let me talk, because this bit's like full personal. Like, what happened was, they got busted by security. And I was, like, wandering, like, alone, like an idiot in the bush. Hey. And these black guys, like, I found them. You know what they told me? That like, it's their rock, they own it. But hey, who's ripping them off? Who's stooging them, mate? The government, mate. The Dang. The pinching off their they rock. ripping off the indigenous people, man. Come on now. It's not right. Oh, yeah. They get this get put on current affair. Oh, yeah. All your points gone. The door feet to get in. It doesn't even go to there, mate. It goes to who knows. That's a big rip off, man. Probably your wig tailor. I've never owned a house. I've only been in public housing. But I think that's a real fucker shit go, mate. A 
And then I've gone for a piss in the bush. And like, I got kind of lost at that point because it was all dark and I'm wearing sunnies most of the time. It's a bit stupid, I know, but that's just how I roll. That's just how I roll. In the middle of nowhere, that's... man, there was this army base. So I thought I could just like get in there and just ask them to bludgeon lift back to somewhere. Um, any chance I could get a lift back to... Oh my God. And here's this, mate. American soldiers busted me in this place. They told me that the base was American land. I don't care what he's got to say. This is Australia, man. It's not American <laughs> soil. If you keep on bullshitting me, I'm gonna lose it, mate. I'll fuck ya. <laughs> I'll thong ya. You know, on the one foot, they charge you like an arm and a leg to go in to see a rock. And on the other foot, the government, they're giving away like our land from this country to other countries for free. You know, Crazy. Dang. I went off the hook. <laughs> Ozzy, 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 oi, oi, oi. Oh, my God. That man really wasn't scared of bullets. Out of gas is crazy. What's going on? I know this bit's gonna sound like bullshit, but I swear on all the de facto kids that I lost to docs, it's true. Oh no. Oh no, Frankie. Oh no, Frankie. Probes on me and that. Cause you wear them fucking girly shorts all the time. What the fuck is wrong with these shorts? <laughs> oh my ass! Fucking paranormal activity on my ass! Oh, it didn't run out of gas. They just <laughs> they just turned that joke off. <laughs> <laughs> Racist and look, hey, if there was some drugs that might have been taken at that thing, that's alleged, mm. you know. And look, it's not bullshit. <laughs> I mean, because I've got that motorbike and I've got a pain on the ass. <laughs> Oof. We don't know about your fucking ass. How is any of this relevant? That shit should not happen to an Australian citizen, mate, especially a disabled pensioner like me, as classed by Centrelink. There I you go. You just go for quit or now. You could even like erase a couple of fines for me too, that'd be mad. All very interesting. And now will you take your hat off? After that whole story, he's still on about the fucking hat. <laughs> Hi. Is that the head editor of a current affair? How would you like footage of a bogan throwing a fong at a Supreme Court judge? Oh, day. I'm well, surprised you lasted so long, Frankie. Fong the judge, did ya? I missed his stupid wig by like only a bee's dick. Can I talk now? Them other dickheads are gone. Here we go, Shazza. Are we guilty of breaking in? Yes. Why? Because we got no money, mate. We got no money for fancy suits and nice places to live. I can't send my kids to a good school. I can't even bury my parents in a nice place. Mm. And yeah, we might get smashed and do stupid shit. And, well, you can make your laws to stop us having fun. But we're true blue Aussies, mate, and we yeah, ain't going to anyone. Go, Shazza! Go, Shazza! Go, Shazza! <laughs> Heroes like the Anzacs in World War Two and and Fala, fucking Brocky. Shows up, shows up, shows up. Anzacs in World War Two. <laughs> what a faux pas. The 
This is why I send my kids to private schools. Shut him up for life, <laughs> <laughs> As a real representative of all true blue Aussies living in Australia, I've got a message to give to you and your government. <sighs> Go get fucked, you yeah. dick knob jockey fuckwick wanker. Iris my case. <laughs> I think I'm going to be far calling the judge a fucking wanker, eh? <laughs> yeah, Kelly, you'd be proud. Yeah, fucking eh? Well, the judge gave them all 10 years each under the new National Monument. God dang. Pretty steep if you ask me. Yeah, and If you agreed. build any of this coming good, I tell you, it'll be a long shot for sure, mate. Yeah, the houses look truly rooted. The public got to come stand up for them. That night, a current affairs did play the footage that the senator leaked out. Tonight, on a current affairs, the government department that jailed these poor Aussie battlers for trying to visit our nation's national symbol, Uluru. What? That's not the story we told them to show. It seems that even Tabitha <laughs> TV doesn't like the government telling them what to do. So, Beryl, the federal police have arrested your son and his de facto for what exactly? They were just trying to sprinkle Sharon's mum's ashes at Ayers Rock. What's wrong with that? If you ask me, there's just too many stupid bloody laws in this country. Now, oh, it was almost like a bushfire around Australia. Thousands of people were outraged at the treatment of poor Shazza, you know, and the others. They rang the TV stations, they got on Facebook, they even emailed the Prime Minister. Yeah! Senator, what the bloody hell did you do? Our polls have dropped 85%. Oh we'll my god. 60,000 emails. This is a disaster. Uh, Prime Minister, can I just say. No, do not say another word. Get Shazza Jones and her mates out of jail and make all of this drama go away. Or I'm giving your seat to Peter Garrett. Oh, you wouldn't read about it. Yeah! You would. The sentences were all cancelled. <laughs> the dogs gave all the kids back. <laughs> By the time they got home, there was a huge block party waiting for them. Yeah! <laughs> oh my gosh. If this was any other suburb in Australia, this would have been one of the bestest nights ever. <laughs> but not here. Oh my gosh. Where's the money for a child of the support? You big fucking hero on TV and you're too cheap to pay for your own kid. <laughs> <laughs> God day. They got to all come together now. What are we fighting each other for? Let's fight the fucking pigs. There you go. Don't hold back on these fucking scumbags. Oh, man. <laughs> That's the whole bloody story in a nutshell. I'm going in there for a few beers, a couple of bets, and if I'm lucky, <laughs> might even pick up a root. I'll pick up <laughs> a root for sure. I can drink a few of the girls in the bar pretty. <laughs> Text me next time you're here in Sunny Bar. It's all good. It's all good. Uh, that was great. Uh, I absolutely enjoyed this movie, Houses vs. Authority. They didn't disappoint at all. On that shit, I finish Hazo season three. I got mixed, <laughs> mixed opinions. Some were saying yeah, some were saying no. It was like half and half. So I, I only see five episodes in season three, which means I only got four left to go. I'm gonna go ahead and finish it, and then we're gonna jump back to Swift to Shift Couriers, and then we're gonna get on Fat Pizza after that. 
That's all we got. Make sure you guys subscribe, ring notification bell, get a video a thumbs up. It's your boy Dina out.